Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So before we begin, just 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 take a look at this. Holy shit! Level six Water Persephone variant. Like, can you get any more lucky? Holy, I. Whatever, whatever. Um, we're just gonna we're just gonna start our start our review. I just wanted to show you guys that because I, like, um, the moment I saw that, I was just I was just filled to the brim with salt. Right then, right there. Alright, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Mushi. This is also some something that someone recommended to me. Um, basically, a lot of the, the monsters I'm reviewing right now are also are all monsters that have like pretty good leader skills. The Mushi actually has a HP leader skill, that's why you know if you can find a usable Mushi, it, he's definitely someone you want on your team because 20 to 25 percent um, HP is no joke. Like just extra HP that can be used basically anywhere because you know it's not limited to the arena or, or anything it's used on all maps um, so we're going to be taking a look at the Mushis and we're, we're going to see if there's one that's um, you know slightly better than the others or if one of them straight out outclasses the others the first one is first one we're going to be looking at is the fire one um, he has a fatigue 40% chance to land fatigue and 100% chance to land taunt and but he's only a single target unit, so meaning this is only a single target taunt, and um, this is a single target fatigue for only 40% chance. I don't think fatigue and taunt are all that useful. Taunt might be a lot more useful if your monster is really really tanky, uh, but him being a two star, he definitely doesn't have all the base stats that he needs to be you know really really tanky. Um, so I guess that one's not not the one we're looking for. This one has. 40% taunt on his first skill, and he has a water predator, meaning he gets 20% uh, extra attack when he's attacking a water unit. This is this is actually decent. Like it's not it's not that bad, um, especially if you're running him just as a water unit against. Um, actually, wait. If you're running him against a water unit against water units, that doesn't really help. Actually, that's that's actually really weird. What? Come on. Alright, this one. This one is Morale Boost and Hunter. This this is the Mushi we're looking for, alright? This this one is the one you want. Um, critical hits have 100% to restore SP by 50%, and he also has increased critical hit damage 50%. This is actually a pretty good monster. Like, he has. Um, if you can build his crit high enough, you can, or if you can get like two square slots and just push 100% crit. It means that he's gonna have morale boost like 100% of the time. It's a 50% morale boost, and that that's basically just as strong as like the the um, the water Arthur, for example. His morale boost. If you can if you can have the gems to back him up, he can actually be like his his rates are actually as good as a Nat five, um, and he's definitely really really easy to raise. You can I think you can farm him. You can farm him on the on the forest map. And he also has Hunter, like this is not any lower than any of the other Hunter skills. Um, if you want to compare that to like the Dark Gatito or anything like that. Or the um, the Fire Leo. I think the yeah, their their Hunter skills are all 50% as well. Yeah, so I think I think the wood one is probably the best one. I, I don't I don't know if there's a light dark version of them. I'm pretty sure there isn't. Um yeah, so that's the that's the main three elements. I just wanted to start the day off with a with a quick review of a, a monster uh, before I start start before I start going ham on this account. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Um, that actually gave me some some pretty good pretty good uh, inspiration. Actually, wait, you can't farm him. He's a Mushi. He's not he's not one of the other monsters. I think I think he he might not be farmable. Let me just check some of the maps, alright? Oh shit, I can't even check the, the maps further on. Oh wait, you can farm a water version of him. So if you if you uh, summon a wood version, you can definitely definitely farm up on water ones. Wait, is this a wood one? No, oh, this is a tree guy. This is the broccoli dude. But this is definitely a Mushi. 
Alright, so if you can if you can summon one one of the wood ones, you can definitely raise them using the water ones. And you can definitely get some variants on this map as well. So yeah, it shouldn't be that hard to to raise a Mushi to Evil 3. If you wanna if you want a wood, uh like early game wood nuker that and you don't have another wood nuker, like single target nuker that um also has HP leader. It's he's actually pretty nice. So I'm, I've been looking through a lot of these monsters for my for my free to play series, um, where I limit myself to only using three stars and two stars and below, like basically three stars and below. That's why I'm looking through a lot of these monsters. Um, yeah, so hopefully hopefully this was somewhat helpful, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys like my like my video, be sure to like it. If you guys hated it, um, be sure to dislike it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.